It's no wonder that the apostles wanted to make the crowd disappear. Send them away. Tell them to go home. Then Jesus said, you give them something to eat. They answered, five loaves, two fish. That's all we have. Five loaves and two fish. That was not even enough to feed the apostles themselves. Twelve grown men, and if you include Jesus, thirteen. Five loaves and two fish. So the easiest thing to do is ignore all of the other hungry people around them, send them home, make them go away, make them invisible. Then they could make do with a very scanty meal of five loaves and two fish and eat in peace. I, I know that we're always tempted to do the same thing. Let's take care of ourselves, and if there's any left over, we'll take care of someone else. Let's uh, feed ourselves, and after we're full, if there are any scraps left over, we'll share them with others. Uh, let's do what we need to do for our own happiness, our own peace, and if there's any energy or strength or time left over, then we'll think about sharing it. Jesus calls us to do something totally different, to, to share even when we're not that secure ourselves, to give of ourselves even when our own lives may seem to be in some disarray, to love each other freely when we're not receiving much in the way of love or affirmation ourselves. We are the ones saying today, five loaves and two fish, that's all I have. So let's make the refugees disappear. Uh, let's make um, the hungry just invisible. Uh, today, instead, let's take a chance on what the Lord calls us to do and to be as his followers, as the church, to trust once we put our scant resources into his loving hands, that there's more than enough to feed them, to care for us, and to have leftovers just in case.